Hi there, Robert. Corey here from West Point Autos doing the video tour for you on our 2011 Nissan Patrol ST. Now, Robert, in the video tour, I'll go around the inside and outside and point out the condition of the car. Uh, also, point out the few aftermarket features that this car does have. So, what I'll do, I'll start with the front here. So, obviously, we can see it does have a genuine Nissan wheel bar, steel bar on the front, uh, and also has the IPS lights on the front there too, which are the brand that Nissan uses, genuine brands. So we'll start with the front here, just looking at the condition of, of everything. So as you can see, the bull is in pretty good condition. There's a few stone chips where it's gone a little bit rusty just through there, but the overall condition of the bull is all good. It's very, very straight still, no massive dents or anything like that, just a few stone chips through it. Obviously done 84,000 Ks, it has spent a bit of time on the road over its life, but otherwise it's still pretty good condition. So as you can see, bottom's pretty good. I can see a dent just there. Very, very small, but I can see it. And it looks like there's a little stone chip repair just there. Shift through here. Okay, now we'll come down the side of the car. So I can see there's a few scratches through here. And just coming along that side. Keep the paint missing. And just looking down the length of the car. I do see there's a dent just here. And it looks like it's had a few scratches just sort of there as well, just there. Okay, coming around to the back now. So I did notice there are a few scratches here. Through that area, if you can see that. Scratch at the top there too. It does have the genuine Nissan Toba already fitted to it. You stare there, there's no wheel cover. Uh, there's a scratch just here. And a bit under the bottom there, it may have been towing something at one stage. Okay, coming around to the other side now. I did notice there is a very, it looks like it's from there to there. There's some very, very light scratches where it looks like it's slightly grazed against something. So I may have just simply opened the door onto something. And just in that area, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but there is a bit of a dent through there too on that door. And then coming back around to the front, actually, I did notice on the mirror here. It's starting to bubble just in the very, very top. As you can see there. And we're back to the front. So that's the exterior condition of the car. So there are a few scratches, a few very, very minor dents, but otherwise it's all pretty straight and tidy. Uh, now I'll head to the back and show you the interior. Start with, with the third row of seats. So this third row doesn't actually look like it's been used at all really, really no marks at all. It's the back of the other seats, a few scratches on them so it looks like they might have had been loading something into there, that may have scratched a little bit of it but otherwise in pretty good condition through there, all the plastic back here too. Okay, I'll head into the middle row. Okay, so I do have some wear here. 
just on the very, very side. And I've had a good look at, through these middle seats in excellent condition, other than one little area where it looks like someone's had a cigarette and burnt a very, very small hole. But it is the exact same size as a cigarette butt, and it looks like it, there are some charred edges on the side there. So, other than that, chairs haven't, haven't worn out or anything like that in very, very good condition. Other side, there's not as much wear on that side. Um, and I did notice there was some bubbling around there. The air conditioning controls. But the back of the seats are all good. It's really just that cigarette bit. Okay. Heading into the driver's side now. So, a bit of wear through there. Doors most used. As you can see, the bolts are still very, very well intact. Not starting to rip or wear. Okay, so I'll jump in for you. Okay, so top here there's two small compartments. One's a push in, in there. And one's like a little kind of coin holder thing. Below that, you do have your updated uh, Nissan system. So that does have Bluetooth in it. So the two phone buttons there. Uh, USB and an AUX port. Below that, you have your air conditioning controls. Obviously, your low and high range gear stick there. And your normal gear, five-speed manual box there. Two 12-volt ports. And also the sub-tank controls down there. The only bit of wear I could see at the front here was just behind the low and high range gearbox was just there was a bit of wear just on that plastic but otherwise as you can see through the middle there it's all pretty standard, all pretty tidy container in there that lifts out and there's a deeper hole there but for the condition at the front so again very very small wear at the front there seats in excellent condition and all the plastics are the same story. You do have your cruise control there as well. So what I'm gonna do for you now is just turn the vehicle on. Okay, I'm gonna start her up. So as you can see, it starts the first time. No engine lights at all. That's my door. And down there I have seat belt and handbrake lights. So it starts first time. As you can see there it's done 84446 four, kilometers exactly. So it starts first time, idles without a problem. So I'll just pop the bonnet as well and show you underneath that. So you might not be able to hear me very well underneath that. So Robert, that is our video tour on our 2011 Nissan Patrol ST. Uh, if you do have any other further questions, just give me a call on 3375-2540. I hope this video has given you a good insight to what the actual condition of the car is like. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. And like I said, any questions, give us a call. Happy to answer them all. And I'll be talking to you soon. So thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And I'll speak to you soon.